Hello everyone and welcome to the Brick Barn. I'm here today to take you on a guided tour of what lies inside to give you an idea. If any of you are perhaps anxious or have additional needs, this will be a great video for you to see what really goes on inside the Brick Barn. Come and join me, let's take a look. When you arrive, you can park up in the car park and then make your way down to our path. Look out for the entrance sign. That's the clue. The other doors, they're no good. Come on in. Hello and welcome inside. Now that we're here, this is our reception area where we like to check in all our potential customers and our creative builders. Now, if you like fancy lights, you'll notice that our ceiling's a little bit different. We've got clouds of imagination floating throughout the brick bar. See if you can spot them anywhere else on our journey today. Now, if you've pre-booked your tickets, you'll be able to check in just here at the desk. If you've also pre-booked a combo ticket, this is where you need to come to check in. And then you'll be able to access the rest of Shepherd's Place Farm and the Brick Barn at your convenience. For those of you that may be visiting in a wheelchair, we've made our site as accessible as possible for you, so you can have just as enjoyable experience as everybody else. We have a small lip on our front door that may form a small obstacle, but don't worry, we're here to help you get over that lip. And then, once you're into the facility, we have flat floors throughout, and our corridor spaces are designed to be wide enough to accommodate your wheelchair. Also, at our tables, our chairs are fully removable, so we can pull them out and you can slide yourself into the right spot, and you can set yourself up for a great building adventure. The only space that's not accessible is our cosy area, which has three small wooden steps to climb. We can assist you onto that area, but we don't want to put anybody in an uncomfortable position. Unfortunately, that's the only section of our whole attraction that you won't be able to enjoy, but we'll make sure we make up for that. Don't you worry. When you arrive, we'll give you a little stamp, and this is your key for the day. Don't worry, there's nothing painful about it. See, we just dab our hand and it leaves a special mark. This will be able to grant you access into our facilities throughout the day. When you check in, you'll be given a short health and safety briefing to make sure that everything's going to be okay during your Brick Barn visit. And if you're unsure of anything during your visit, we have the Declaration of Imagination. And once you're all clued up with the Declaration of Imagination, it's time to start your Lego building journey. Today, we'll take you into the inventor's lab first, where we'll meet the Imagination Harvester. Follow me. Welcome to the inventor's lab and one of our build rooms here at the Brick Barn. Located in here is thousands of Lego pieces, all for your use. Now you might notice that the lab is a little bit darker than some of our other spaces. We like to keep the inventor's lab a little bit more of a sensory space. We've got twinkly lights and a much more relaxed atmosphere in here. From time to time, you'll also hear the Imagination Harvester make interesting noises, beeps and bloops, and sometimes some chilled out music as well. Don't worry, it's all part of the excitement. And the Imagination Harvester is a special device that's taking your Lego building skills and power and converting it into electricity so that we can power the brick barn. So when you hear those beeps and bloops, you'll know that the Imagination Harvester is doing its job and you're helping it. You'll also find that we've got boxes full of colour sorted pieces. So if there's a particular colour that you're looking for, there's a good chance that we'll have it sorted out ready for you to build with. And there's plenty of seating everywhere. In the other room, you'll notice we have a large table. Here, we have smaller tables to make the experience a little more personal for those who don't necessarily enjoy building in larger crowded areas. The Inventor's Lab is usually our quieter build room with a lot of the activity going on in the festival courtyard. In fact, it's time to go there now. Come with me. Welcome to the Festival Courtyard and my personal favourite room to build in. As you can see, we've got a lot of bricks in the Festival Courtyard and at the banquet of bricks here, you'll be able to build with everybody that's come to play today. It's a lovely chance to have a social encounter and make new friends and, of course, share creative ideas. Now, I'm sure some of you out there might be a little bit worried about the noise 
We know that some of you like to wear ear defenders and sometimes subdue the atmosphere. We actively encourage you not to hear the noise that our bricks create, that loud rustle, is the power of imagination being created and we actively embrace every visitor to come and uh, experience that. Now we appreciate that some of you might want to continue to wear your ear defenders and that's absolutely fine. You'll find lots of plastic tubs scattered around the brick barn. These are a great way to get started. In fact, we highly recommend that before getting yourself cosy to build, have a good peruse of all our pieces. Look around and dig in the piles. You never know, a piece might stand out that sparks your imagination. And when you find that piece, put it in your cup. Gather as many pieces as you can find, then get yourself comfy, tip your cup out, and your imagination will be fired up, ready to get started. Here at the Brick Barn, we try to accommodate everybody, and we appreciate that everybody has slightly different needs. That's why we try to make our space as accessible as possible. Now in the festival courtyard, there is a soundtrack but we played a funny little game with you all. You'll notice as you build some familiar tunes with a slight medieval spin on. There's almost a game to be played from it. See how many you can name next time you come to build. For those of you that enjoy a more relaxed atmosphere, we have our cozy area where you can come and relax on all the blankets and pillows. We ask that you do remove your shoes, but when the weather gets cold, don't worry, you can leave them on. As long as they're clean and tidy, you're welcome to go up onto this space and sit on the comfy pillows and blankets. For those of you that have little ones, although entry to the brick barn is free for under threes, we do provide some Duplo for our little visitors so that we can ensure that we're starting them off on the path to a creative life. Inside the festival courtyard, we also have a VIB party area. This space is designed for birthday parties and celebrations of all types. During your visit, it may be closed off. So, if it is, don't worry. We've put extra pieces on the table to ensure that you won't be building with anything less than what's expected. Whilst you're at the brick barn, you're welcome to build with all our Lego pieces except one special model that's located over on the far side. Let me take you to show you. This is our special medieval courtyard and it's what we call one of my holy grail sets, which means it's a set I've been after for ages. Now most Lego collectors keep their collections locked away in glass cabinets, but I'm trusting you guys not to touch or destroy it. That may be tempting fate, but we'll see. It's very special, you're welcome to come and look and get inspiration from it, but please don't touch. If you need to use the toilet at all whilst you're building with us here at the Brick Barn, you'll need to leave the barn and go to visit the toilets that are located in the Lambing Shed play area or in the cafeteria at the front of the site. Just make sure you've got your hand stamped. If you do need to leave the barn for any reason, don't worry about your Lego model, you can leave it on our saving shelf and it will be waiting for you when you come back so you can keep on building. At the end of your visit, if you decide you want to take your model home, you can come and place it on our scales. We'll give you an amount and then if it's within your budget, you'll be able to pay to take your model home. But don't worry, there's no hard sell and no obligation to take it. What's important is that you come to the brick barn, relax, create, and enjoy your time with us. If you decide not to take your model home, you can place it on our display shelf and everybody that comes to visit for the day will be able to see your awesome creation. But bear in mind, at the end of the day, when everybody's gone home, your bricks and pieces will be returned to our brick pits and your model will go back into our stash of Lego. When it's time to go and you've paid for your model, you can head out this door and be on your way. We can't wait to meet you all down here at the Brick Barn. With so many pieces and so much creative energy, we just want to share it with you all. So, until we see you in real life, keep thinking outside the Brick Box, and of course, may the power of imagination always be in your hearts and minds. <laughs>